Hello everyone. Something looks a lot different. It happened once again. It's all gone. But it's not the end. Oh no, no, no. Wait, where did the boots go for that set of armor? Oof. <laughs> I definitely had boots for that armor, by the way. It just kind of... Oh, there they are. See? And I have this. So, let me explain what happened from the very beginning. I was killing the Ender Dragon a couple times just for fun to open more gateways to find more elytras. And and well, something terrible happened. And it all started to happen when I went through a gateway. I don't know how or why. But I went through a gateway to the other damage to the end outer end islands. I went there to try and I don't know how to explain it. Find entities to get more elytras. Well you see how that went? I ended up dead. But how? is the main question. How did I end up dying? Well, that, my friends, I can't tell you. I went back through the gateway. I had a, my screen suddenly turned black. So, I waited there for like five minutes, didn't load. Now I'm confused. I could still use my electric, I could still swap it out. But something changed. Something happened that suddenly caused the game to do that. I don't know what it was or why it happened. Remember that. It just happened. I don't need Riptide. Um, it kind of just happened. Now, that concerns me a lot. It makes, it does annoy me. But... It would, because it was my stuff gone in a second. Kapoof. Disappeared. To a glitch. Because the chunks didn't load, I casually thought, okay, this is a little bit of a problem. So, I restarted the game. I say restarted, I mean I saved and I quit. When I respawned back into the game and loaded it back up for some reason i was at y negative like a hundred too far in the void to do anything that was immense lag <laughs> i was too far in the void to do anything and it was game over i lost everything but i just want to focus on that part Specifically, how? I didn't... I, I, I didn't do anything but save and quit, and I fell in the void. But, as you can see, what I'm doing now, we don't give up here on this channel. We press on through the hardest of times. You may notice chunks are loading quite weirdly. Um when the game actually decides to load them properly sheesh and um, i downloaded a mod it's called f it's called fade in it's like chunks fade in prop well not fading properly but fade in a little bit better but you can add an animation and i added an animation it just means like like that they jump up you'll see it when we go to the end because we're gonna go to the enderman farm and get some levels so we can gear up you saw it there when I went through the portal. It kind of caused a little bit of lag, but it should be okay. It's super easy to see here. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Oof. Ooh. All the events that I unfolded happened yesterday. So I had a little bit of a break to get over it because I was honestly devastated. I didn't know how or why. Um, I'll... 
I'm going to have to de-enchant that and the rest of it should be okay. But how much is it? I'm, I'm gearing up right now because we have a mission to do and this mission that I want to perform will take years and I mean years to do and it's to create one of if not the first infinite minecraft world it sounds crazy like absolutely insane but I assure you what I'm proposing right now is 100% not insane my the plan of what I'm saying right now is to cr is this Minecraft world won't just end when I say I will pass it on to someone I trust, someone who I believe in, who can carry on the legacy of the channel, and not just the channel but this world. I'll set some guidelines of who I can give it to later, but. Just be aware, this world ain't going and wins anytime soon. It's going to take years before I, before the beginning of the end begins. But when we cross that path, just be ready. But this world will hopefully will be alive for longer and longer. That's my wish. That's what I want. One of the first ever infinite minecraft worlds is it possible I, I i don't know i don't know who knows if it's possible we'll have to see it's not just people's dedication to the world that will keep it alive it's people's commitment to watching the videos as well because if the videos on the world ain't getting any views in the future as in i'm talking we're talking years in the future when this channel is like a hundred thousand subs and i'm like older but okay enough about that it's gonna it's it's gonna happen and we're gonna see if the algorithm doesn't delete minecraft off it's possible and i believe in it and we may be able to create something better than anyone else ever has. Something that can be cherished. I mean, eventually, if we start, if people start running out of ideas with the world, you can make it. We could make it public. Bearing in mind, by the time that ever happens, who knows if I'll even still be here? Because if it's an infinite world, by the time people run out of ideas. Who knows what year it will be? It could be, you know, like 200 years from now. Granted, I don't think a Minecraft world could survive 200 years, but who knows? In a Minecraft world that's designed right now to be an infinite world, a place where you will, you where you can never give up, because no matter what happens, there will always be resources. Wait, what was that? Wait, 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 wait. What? Hold the phone. We're going back to the end real quick. I saw a bunch of stuff around that portal. Huh. Okay, this was unscripted. I'm just gonna... Those chunks look so cool. When you're flying, it's so epic. But especially in the overworld, over ocean. Absolutely beautiful. I know I went to the end. I just want to see what those items were. I think they're just a bunch of ender pearls and stuff. I was just curious. <laughs> this world is supposed to never end. And I don't think it will. No, it's just a bunch of ender pearls. Alright. I will show you where I went through. That black void that comes open as you teleport through is exactly what I saw. But as soon as I flew right back through, I 
Ow. Oh, I hit my head. I can't really do that again. I, ha I hit that black void. And I hope I don't fall off the edge. I was all the way down there. I don't, I don't know why or how or anything about that. But it is what it is. And that's something you've got to understand. It is what it is. And... Oh my gosh, if it happens to you, you got to learn how to deal. I mean, I've kind of lost a lot of my stuff over the past 600 days, but we never gave up because I had all your support with me. And with that, we are making something absolutely extraordinary with those 24 villagers that are going to be in there. We're going to make one of the biggest alien farms I can find on the internet. It's crazy, but it's another thing that will keep these projects going. You see, Minecraft worlds, like Hycon stuff, can go on for hundreds of Minecraft days, but has someone ever really made a Minecraft world that can go on longer than these? Because that relies on the player who plays the world to be there. Ooh, that's a pretty decent axe. I need to get sharpness on that. But that requires the player to be there specifically. In this world, you can have multiple players. Are you serious? That is kind of a stupid sword, but we'll take it. Oh, wrong thing. Um, this world would require flip. Absolutely minimal efforts from some people because at some point in this time period Minecraft may drop off the algorithm of YouTube but you've got to remember this if it does well the world may go to die but I'm hoping that you guys and you guys, you guys alone can save the mi save Minecraft. How? By keeping it alive. No, nope, that don't work. Okay. <laughs> you keep the game alive from now on. You will keep it on this platform. You're kidding me, aren't you? Respiration free for thirty levels. You'll keep the game alive on the platform long enough. Now, as I say, I'm I gonna I'm gonna say this again. The dream that I propose, actually, this doesn't take this takes too long, um, is a long way away. It's I don't think it's possible, but I believe. If you believe in me too, if you believe in yourself, please drop a like because this in this may be history. We may be able to make history. All it requires is your support. And I can. I will. I will carry on with this world for as long as I can. For as long as I am on this planet. Damn, no, damn, just don't look too good. No, that doesn't matter. For as long as I'm on this planet. As long as I'm making videos, I will always, always like your support. Now, enough about that. Let's test out these armor trims real quick. Because why not? That one doesn't look too bad. It's kind of plain there. I don't have any more silent armor trims. I don't. Do I have eye anywhere? I need eye is like my armor trim, if you know what I mean. It's like the armor trim. Uh, it's like, there it is. There's the best armor trim in the game. I just put all my diamonds in this machine just to sort it. And I'm about to take them all back out again. I need endstone, don't I? Okay. I have just thought something that I'll reveal ne maybe next episode if I can get it done. But I've just thought something. What about a podium? A podium of armor. Or pretty much just eye armor. Because eye is literally my jam right now. 
And that's four. We do it one more time. Surely that's a lot of diamonds burnt through. Well, let's hope I don't need to do it again. Well, well, I did diamond on diamond last time, didn't I? No, I did like gold. Let, let me go to my no wrong wrong button. Oops. Pictures real quick. Uh. Okay, so this is what I wanted to show you. Gold. This is this is the design I'm going for. Gold armor trim. Because it looks so good on diamond and so good on, on netherite. So that's what we're going to choose. So let's hop back in the world and do that. Okay, so we're back and I need to find some gold. I know I... Uh, okay, there it is. There's my gold. I need to get rid of this rotten flesh. There we go, capiche, kapow, kapow. Let's just turn all these back into blocks before we take a look at our brand new armor. Capiche. Uh, throw them back in there, as well as this and that. Respiration. I uh, will leave that for the helmet later. But, uh, ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. That looks so good. So, thank you for watching my videos, and I hope, I really do hope, that, that I, my dream does end up coming true. That we do end up getting a Minecraft world that's infinite. But that ain't coming for a long time now. Mending for eight emeralds? You got it, sir. For now, let's focus on the more important things. And it's building this flipping iron farm. Holy. This one's not too bad. I just, I also, it's just I, I want more iron. Don't ask why. I swear if I go to the comments and I see a comment saying why I need more iron, I'm going to go berserk because, trust me, I don't know what's that. Flip, I don't have a book. Well, let's go get a book. You may notice I'm not too sad about losing all my stuff. One, it's happened to me quite a lot, but two, it's because I know I have enough stuff to die three more times. That's how many diamonds I have. It's not really how many eye armor trims I have, but it's I've got enough diamonds and enough levels to die multiple times. Which is why you never pick me for a flipping, um, for a, I completely forgot the name, for a hardcore world. Have you restocked? Yes, you have. Okay, this villager is a legend. He restocks, like, in the matter of seconds. He literally restocks in a matter of seconds. But, obviously, I need to get more of him. Because I need more of them villagers if I'm trading a bunch of iron. But let's fix up. Let's get my elytra back to where it is. And we'll end it here today, guys. So, thanks for watching the game plan. If that's what I call the video, I don't know. But, this is going to be a heck of a journey. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, like, subscribe. Um, there will be uh, another video coming soon where we do some other important things. But, thank you and peace out.